This video will help familiarize you with the XQ570 Rental Generator Set to aid starting and stopping the rental generator. Warning, this video does not replace the Operation and Maintenance Manual or OMM. You should read, understand, and follow the OMM. Only qualified users should install, maintain, and operate the generator. If you are uncertain or do not understand any information in the OMM, contact your local CAT dealer. Before starting the engine, ensure the unit is in a stable level position. Ensure suitable wheel chocks are in place and has adequate clearance on all sides. Use the procedures described in the OMM to perform the required daily and other periodic maintenance tasks. Perform a visual inspection of the unit. Look for proper oil level, proper diesel fuel and DEF level. Inspect the fuel system. Drain water from the fuel separator if equipped. Proper coolant level. Check the air cleaner service indicator. Trash buildup in the engine compartment. In addition, make sure that the ground terminal is properly connected according to site requirements. To manually start the generator in standalone mode, ensure qualified personnel select the desired voltage using the procedure outlined in the OMM via the voltage changeover board and adjust the circuit breaker trip to the correct amperage. Ensure the circuit breakers are open, off. Connect required cables to the bus bar only while the product has no power source or is in a zero energy state and not running. Turn the battery disconnect to the on position. Note, the XQ570 uses the generator control EMCP 4.4 with parallel capabilities. The following tasks must be completed to utilize the generator in standalone mode. Ensure qualified personnel modify the maiden breaker setting so that it must be manually closed by installing the lead jumper appropriately as described in the OMM. Verify sync mode is set to check. Navigate through the main menu, control, paralleling control, sync mode switch, and select check. Putting the sync mode switch into check means the main breaker must be manually closed to power loads. If the EMCP 4.4 is in auto and receives a run signal remotely, the generator breaker will close automatically once the unit is up to rated voltage and frequency. Press the run button. The generator set controller or EMCP confirms the engine is running and there are no faults. Allow the engine to reach operating temperatures about three minutes. Close the circuit breakers necessary to supply customer loads. Warning, do not overload the generator. The engine may shut down if it is overloaded. Exceeding the rated power of the generator can damage the generator and the electrical devices connected to it. Sequence load connections to prevent overloading the generator and engine by first connecting the load with the highest starting power requirements, followed by the second highest and ending with the lowest. Make sure the total power requirements of the connected loads do not exceed the rated power of the generator. To stop the generator, turn the output circuit breakers to the off position. Press stop button on the control panel. Allow the engine to complete the cool down cycle without load. DEF fluid will circulate and then purge the system of fluid during shutdown. After the engine has stopped running and the DEF purge light is no longer illuminated, turn the battery disconnect switch to the off position. Use the procedures described in the OMM to perform post shutdown checks. Check service hour meter to determine what required maintenance tasks shall be performed. After the engine is cooled, check fluid levels and refill as necessary.